Epson, a company that makes a variety of products from paper to laser projectors. Well, today I'm going to be reviewing the Epson EB X31 3 LCD bulb projector. It shines 720 pixels, which from a distance is good enough, but if you come closer, you start to see all the squares. The projector comes with a small soft case, a remote, and a USB cable to plug in your computer through a USB cable. You can adjust the focus of the projector by a wheel on the projector, and you can adjust the size of the output by twisting the second wheel. You can adjust the way the projector stands by releasing the quite short piece of plastic by pressing the grey button at the front of the projector, and to adjust the height of the back of the projector, you can twist the two legs at the back of the projector. If you are in tight place and you are limited with the choices of where to shine the projector and where to place the projector, you can place the projector where you can place it and change the horizontal and vertical keystone to make the image look straight on the wall. You have a number of choices for the I.O. USB A for a Wi-Fi dongle, USB B for connecting to a computer, AV inputs, S video, VGA and HDMI. I don't have a wireless dongle for this projector, but you can buy a wireless dongle and be able to wirelessly connect to this projector. The projector has a split screen feature which allows you to connect two devices like computers or laptops and play games with friends on one big screen at the same time. The projector comes with a remote. The remote has a lot of buttons. The remote can be used to adjust the volume of the projector speakers, to mute the outputs of the projector, and there are many more implications the remote has. There are speakers built into the projector. They are not bad, but they are not the best. I prefer my laptop speakers. But the projector speakers are louder, so sometimes I have to sacrifice the quality for the loudness. Or as soon as I take my speaker, which I have reviewed in another video, and use it instead. The bulb on this projector is set to quoting the Epson website with a long lamp and filter life. Even if using the projector to watch a movie every day, it would be up to 15 years before either would need to be changed. So if you watch average length movies, which are 1 hour and 30 minutes long, for 15 years, which is 5,475 days, and multiply that by one and a half hours, you get 8,212 hours and half an hour of movies in total, which is enough to currently watch 25% of everything on Netflix. If you enjoyed this video, then like it and subscribe, but if you disliked the video, then dislike the video and comment what you disliked about the video. See you in the next video, bye bye.